Standard form of a quadratic looks like this. There's an x squared, there's a plain old x, and then there's a number without an x attached to it, and it's set equal to zero. When it's in this form, we can identify the a as the number next to the x squared, the b as the number next to the regular x, so take the negative sign with you, and then c is negative seven. So once you have those identified, you can plug them into this formula to find the solutions. So b is negative 5. There's a double negative. That means we're going to put in a positive 5 into the formula. And then b is being squared. So it's negative 5 squared minus 4 times 9 times negative 7. Just plugging in everything where it's supposed to go with the letters. And then if we simplify inside the radical, we got to do the exponents first. So negative 5 times itself, that's what squaring means. And same step here. If you multiply negative 4 times 9, it makes negative 36. Negative 36 times 7 is going to make a positive. So that would be a plus 252 instead of minus 252. And then if we add those two numbers inside the radical, that's 277. And so this is getting close to where our answer is, but we have to simplify the radical usually for online math software. So to do that, what you want to do is take the number that's inside the radical and see if you can pull, divide out a perfect square from it. Like you'd want to see 277, can I divide that by 4? Because I know what the square root of 4 is, but it doesn't work. Right? So go to your next one. 9 is a square root that turns out to be a perfect number. It's no decimals, right? 9 is another one you want to divide it by because the square root of 9 comes out to an integer. No decimals. So divide that by 9. 9 doesn't work. The next one would be, oh sorry, 277. Next one would be 16. That doesn't work. Uh, 25 is the next one. So these are these are all the numbers you want to do every time when you're trying to simplify a square root. 4, 9, 16, 25. Uh, 36 would be next, but it'd have to be even. 49 doesn't work. Let's see, uh, 64 won't work because it's not even. Uh, 81 maybe. No, 81 doesn't work. I think it might be fully simplified. After 81, it's 100, then 121. That doesn't work. So that's as simplified as it can go. Let me show you how to punch this into my math lab. So we got a fraction. And then, uh, let's see, our answer was... 5 plus or minus, so we're going to do 5 plus the square root of 277 first. And then I think it was divided by 18. So I'm going to use my right arrows to get out of there and put divide 18 in the bottom. And then that's one of them. So use your right arrows to get out of the fraction, put a comma, and then the second answer is just when we have the minus sign. Once for plus, once for minus.